Hello Arlington, my name is Adam Siegelmoss and on behalf of the Department of Parks and Recreation, I'd like to say welcome to or welcome back to this exciting project. Our goal today is to share the findings of engagement number two and present one final draft concept. At the end of this presentation, there will be a link to provide your feedback on this final draft concept. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation and we look forward to your feedback. As seen in this timeline, our community engagement started way back in June of 2019. Since then, we were able to have a steady flow of community outreach and engagement, except for a period of time in 2020 to 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In the last 12 months, the Department of Parks and Recreation completed engagement opportunity number two online and met with the community at three different occasions, including an open house at Bluemont Park in November 2021, a meeting with the Boulevard Manor Civic Association in August 2022, and a meeting with the Bluemont Civic Association in October of 2022. The final draft concept is based on the feedback we received through various in-person and online engagement opportunities. If you are new to the project, we encourage you to also visit the project website and watch project background videos to learn more about the site, the design, the process, and various concepts that were previously presented. Based on the first community engagement and the extensive site analysis, our project team focused on three key areas, the improved recreational amenities, the improved access and safety for vehicles and pedestrians, as well as, of course, protecting and enhancing natural resources. The items listed under each here, numbers one through 17, detail the improvements included in this concept design. They also improve the relationship of the parking lot with North Manchester and Wilson to really enhance that safety and circulation. There are improvements to connectivity, accessibility and safety for pedestrians and bicycles along four mile run, as well as other walkways. And of course, preserving existing mature trees and increasing the overall tree canopy within the project. But as you can see here through numbers one through 17, there are numerous elements that have been included in this final concept. So now moving into the engagement summary, let's recap. From June 2022 to August 2022, the Department of Parks and Recreation ran engagement number two to seek community input on two concepts that were developed based on previous community feedback, staff recommendations, and detailed site analysis. The following are some of the most important findings from the engagement. And to start off looking at who participated, here we can see that participation was from a number of communities within Arlington, but unsurprisingly, most of the responses were from within the five communities that are closest to the park. These are Bluemont, Boulevard Manor, Boston, Virginia Square, Arlington Forest, and the Clarendon and courthouse communities. When we asked participants about the protection of natural resources, an overwhelming number of people thought that concept number two was more effective in protecting natural resources, such as the resource protection area or RPA along four mile run. Between concept one and concept two, when we asked uh, participants which concept is most preferred, the analysis of the questionnaire and community meeting feedback both clearly indicated that most people preferred concept number two. Thank you to everyone that participated in our community engagement questionnaires. We had hundreds of comments that we sorted and analyzed and three of the most important takeaways for the design team were focus on sustainable design. We heard you on the importance of the RPA protection or the resource protection area, protecting existing trees, 
planting more trees, reducing impervious surfaces such as pavement, reducing light pollution, and encouraging the use of bike share. Secondly, you shared that making tennis courts resilient are a top priority. Top themes here were the need to protect courts from frequent flooding, construct a better surface, adding squeegees to remove water, and making sure trees are planted in such a way that the leaves are not impacting the courts, especially in fall. And third, you let us know that improving the waiting and viewing experience was important. You suggested that the project provide more shade, more seating opportunities, and more space between courts with dividers. And lastly, you asked that the project keep the existing number of parking spaces in the parking lot and not create new on-street parking. Here you can see the changes proposed for concept number two quantitatively. Four of the most important aspects of concept two that differentiate it from concept one and are preferred by the community are the increased number of event courts that can be used for competitions, the tree canopy increases by planting in the newly created reforestation area, reduction in the impervious area in the RPA, which will help protect four mile run, and a reduction in the overall impervious area or paved area by creating a more efficient parking area. All right, folks, let's go ahead and pause here for a second. I'd like to walk you through a few improvements based on the recent engagement. The principal idea in this concept is to enhance the court facilities while reducing the environmental impacts. Tree canopy increases and fewer impervious surfaces, as you'll see, help to improve the park's long-term environmental resilience. But overall, the final tennis court configuration will consist of nine courts. Six of these will be 120 feet by 50 feet wide, and three will be 120 feet long by 60 feet wide. The three 120 by 60 foot wide courts will be separated from each other with a short fence and a shade structure. These courts can be used for special tennis tournaments and events. An additional practice court with a practice wall has also been added at the southern end of the complex. And based on the community engagement, the practice wall will be constructed of masonry, which is better at absorbing the sound. The proposed design recommends raising the tennis courts by about a foot to prevent flooding impacts that we've seen here over the past several years. So now shifting away from the courts, first in the lower yellow oval numbered 18, the entrance to the parking lot has been moved up on North Manchester Street to help improve the circulation and safety at the intersection. The entrance has been simplified by decreasing the width and removing the island. Based on community input, we also eliminated parallel parking spaces that were initially proposed along North Manchester Street as part of this concept. The proposed parking lot is now much more efficient because of the 90 degree parking design and reduced footprint. The final parking count is identical though to the existing parking count of 68. To further enhance the sustainability of this parking lot, we are exploring the uh, use of LED lighting, bioretention facilities along the edges, and permeable paving in the parking spaces. The yellow circle, now on the right numbered, num <laughs> numbered 19, highlights the changes to the hardscape and minor shifting of the play element to improve parking lot efficiency and maintenance access to courts one and two. The upper yellow oval, number 20, highlights a few changes to access locations and bioretention sizing. The, the pedestrian connection from the proposed building to Four Mile Run Trail have shifted closer to the parking lot, which allows for easier access and reduces pavement on the project. The bioretention facilities have been adjusted to add a maintenance access from the parking lot to Four Mile Run Trail and the stormwater requirements will still be met between the three bioretention facilities. And lastly, the yellow oval on the left, number 21, 
shows an improvement to circulation from the parking lot to adjacent trails and sidewalks. The proposed building location and design offers an opportunity to create a variety of spaces that can be enjoyed not only by tennis groups, but also by other park goers, making it more useful and inviting to everyone. To achieve the various objectives of the project, this design recommends shifting tennis court complex north as well as west, slightly cutting into the existing sloped lawn along North Manchester Street. A series of retaining walls will not only help retain the soil, but also create a useful space at the top. And this will offer a vantage point for watching tennis and for general views of the park. A sloping lawn at the top will continue to serve as an informal spectator seating area. The dual strategy of pushing the tennis court complex toward the west and north will help reduce the amount of imper impermeable service and provide great opportunity for the reforestation of the resource protection area. The reforestation in this context simply means a process of planting optimum numbers of native shrubs and trees. Reforestation of the RPA will greatly assist with filtering pollutants and stormwater runoff, reduce the volume of stormwater runoff, prevent erosion, and perform other important biological and ecological functions such as carbon sequestration. And lastly, picnic tables and seating areas within this reforested area will further help to ensure that this amenity can be enjoyed by every park visitor, whether they play tennis or not. Now moving on to a couple cross sections and vantage points. Here at the top is section A, which runs west to east, cutting across Manchester Street on the top left to four mile run on the right hand side. The newly created viewpoint or vantage point is seen on the left along Manchester Street and the grading changes are anticipated along the trail itself. At the bottom, section B runs north to south, really showing the relationship of the proposed building on the left hand side with the tennis courts on the right hand side. This section is looking at the proposed reforested resource protection area and the four mile run beyond. This is my favorite viewpoint and is a bird's eye perspective looking from south toward Wilson Boulevard. On the left is North Manchester Street. You can see the newly proposed overlook between the road and retaining walls of the tennis courts. And the building and the parking lot are seen in the distance north of the proposed tennis courts. The proposed reforested RPA can be seen on the right hand side between the tennis courts and four mile run trail. This last perspective is looking from a position north of the parking lot towards the south. In the foreground, you can see the proposed bioretention areas off the parking lots and the permeable paving in the restructured parking lot. The proposed building is seen just off the parking lot and proposed tennis courts in the distance. This timeline shows where we've come from and where we're going. We've been through several community input opportunities and designs, and our next steps will be to create a construction document set and move forward to permitting. While the timeline is subject to change, we hope to start construction in late 2024. We'll update the timeline on the project website if anything changes. I'd like to thank you again for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you have any questions, please contact Josh Sirk, the project manager for the Upper Bluemont project. And lastly, please fill out the short online feedback form below. Thank you and take care.